to a new video. Today Apple released iOS 15.3.1 to the public and it's available from the models starting from 6s all the way up to 13, iPhone 13 series. However, if you are better tester or running iOS 15.4 on your device, you will not see this update on the phone, for example. This is uh, XS Max and I'm running, you know, beta version 15.4. So that's why I, I, I will not be able to see the update on my phone. So if I go to general and I go to security update, see, it's not showing anything on it. Now, on the other hand, if, you, if you're not beta testers and this is iPhone 10, and I'm running iOS 15.3 on it. And it's if I go to update, it shows me the update is available, like 15.3.1, as you can see on the screen. And the size of this update is, so 181.4 megabytes is pretty small because it's just a, a patch update. So whenever you see double dot update, like 15.3.1, two points, so that means, you know, a little bug or the security update is uh, patched in that update. So, along with iOS 15.3.1, Apple also released macOS 12.2.1, watchOS 8.4.2, and iPad OS 15.3.1. Now, all these updates are available to the public currently right now you can update your devices you should be able to see on your device if you I will show you if you go in settings you go to general and then you go to software update so it's searching and it's showing right there if for some reason it does not show you can turn the automatic update off and then you turn back on and you should be able to see it there so now uh, the the first thing in this update is fixed is the braille display it's for people who are visually impaired or they just want to learn braille using third party braille display that feature had a glitch in the in 15.3 that's why that's the biggest thing is apple you know says it fixed in uh, in this in this update particular update so if you if you go in accessibility and you should be able to use it if you are trying to use like if you want if you wanted to learn braille or, or something like that and uh, another thing apple released and uh, yeah update about air tags the air tag was designed to help people locate their personal thing not to track people or another personal property and we condemn uh, in the strongest possible terms any malicious use of this product apple writes in a press release so if you go to apple website you should be able to see all the details they they just released in the in their press release and they did not talk about anything about you know the pink screen having issues on the uh, iphone 13 series like it turns pink and then it reboots on its own so they have not disclosed anything if that problem has been fixed or not and the uh, other thing the if you go to general and you go to iphone storage the the storage bug seems to be fixed it was it was okay in 15.3 but i don't see any problem as you can see it's showing 45 GB out of 64 GB is used and the you know honestly speaking sometime on different devices I still face the the problem you know it, it takes a little longer than usual to to load the things but overall it's not bad uh, it's, it's okay as you can see you know here is showing the apps the photos and mail everything like how much space is taking so this is iphone xs max but when i checked on um, this 
iPhone, this is iPhone 12. And as you can see, it's only showing the gray bar going all the way and it's telling me it's 45 GB out of 64 GB is used, but it's not, it's not showing in detail uh, like Access Max. You know, the blue, red and green lines, like which apps or photos or mail, like what's taking up the space. But if I wait for a little while, see, now it's just loaded. It took forever. So it seems like that this bug is still there and depending on device devices. And if you are, I mean, experiencing this problem on your device, please comment below and let me know. So that way we can find out if that issue has been resolved or not. But along that, there's not much to talk about. And uh, thank you very much for watching the video. I appreciate the people who commented in my, on my last video and subscribe my channel. And if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do it right now. Thank you and see you next.